Hello guys, Guy Christian out here again with more Let's Play Pokemon Yellow, and I'm tired from my first day of school, even though I hardly did anything. What's up with that? Anyways, in the last episode, I beat Blaine and surfed on Route 21, and now that I have seven badges, I'm back in Viridian City, if the careful eye has observed already. And the leader is back! Yay! So let's go fight him! And understandably enough, there's a war room. Ha! <laughs> Twice in this project, I've done two of these in a row. Anyways, overview. Nine occupants. There's one more trainer than last time. Types used. The, the lead type is supposed to be ground, but you find rock, poison, fighting, and normal here, too. Strategy. Uh, at least go here at level 50. The gimmick here is movement panels that we haven't seen since the Celadon Rocket Hideout, but they're not really that difficult to deal with. They're just, they just hinder you. Uh, again, they're supposed to be ground type focused here, but there are a lot of different other types here, so yeah. However, you want to avoid leading with electric and poison types in this gym, especially with the leader, as it says plainly there. Anyways, uh, type of Pokemon you want to use, water is the major choice you want to do, especially if it knows ice type moves, because they will be a godsend in this uh, gym. Psychic types will take care of the poison and fighting types here. With grass types, uh, take them with a grain of salt because most of them are poison subtype as well, which makes them very vulnerable to the ground types that you'll fight here. So be careful with those stuff. Alright, let's get this final gym started. Yo, Champ the Macon. Even I don't know Viridian's leader identity. This will be the toughest of all gym leaders. I heard that the trainers here like ground type Pokemon. Oh? Well, let's find out. So, <laughs> here are the movement pads. I haven't seen these since Celadon, but who really cares about them? Anyways, even though that guy just said that the trainers love ground types here, we actually barely fight any ground types at all. In fact, they're probably like constitute one third of the gym Pokemon here. Anyways, here's the Tamer. He has an Arbok. Ooh, ground type. And Tauros. Oh, that's super ground type. Actually, it's a normal type. Tauros, uh, you find these in the Safari Zone. Uh, they're, I guess they're pretty reliable Pokemon. I've never used one personally, though. Uh, Stomp is one of their trademark moves. <laughs> yeah, let's just get here. Die! Okay, you're done. And yay, Tamer. We haven't fought, fought these guys since Fuchsia, so that's kind of an odd place to find these guys, but whatever. So yeah, obviously enough. Yeah, no ground-type Pokemon with that guy. Let's check out this next trainer here. Ah, he looks like one of those hiker types. Crud, he is the ultimate form of martial arts. Whoops, not a hiker. <laughs> uh, this guy's probably the other type of black belt, I think. Uh, let's see. Yep, he's a black belt, and he's got one Pokemon, that's a Machoke. Rock. Hmm, still no ground type Pokemon. Where could they be? This guy sneezes in my face, how rude. Alright, so let's move on. Now that he's out of the way, we can actually avoid that movement panel and fight this guy here. If this guy wasn't in the way, we'd actually get a straight shot at the leader. Unfortunately, you know, we don't get that opportunity. Alright, so here's the first male cool trainer of the game. I don't think we fought a male one yet. I know we fought a female. Anyways, this guy's Nirino. And Nido King. Yeah. Finally, a ground type Pokemon after, what, five Pokemon or so? I must be had, let's see, three, four. Yeah, this is the fifth one. Nido King, as you've probably taking notice from the one I have in my party is grounded. Poison type, no match to Nami and her surf. Or his surf. I don't know, they don't have genders in this game. What is it with that? Like, they only give genders to, like, you know, the Nidorans. Anyways, uh, he's done with, so that's the left side of the gym done for now. There are pretty much quadrants or, like, sectors in this area. Alright, now there's a pretty interesting thing right here. Uh, you notice that there's an item there. That's the only time they do this in any time, any gym in this game. Or in any game, as far as I'm aware of. I don't know. I'd have to check. But yeah, only time in this, uh, in yellow anyways. This guy has a Sand Flash and a Doug Trio. I don't think I've showed a Doug Trio yet, so... Doug Trio are pure ground type. These things can be a pain in the butt to deal with, though, because they can... They are very fast Pokemon, actually. However, Doug Trios have very low HP as well, so, yeah, not much of an effect to Sauerkraut. Haha, <laughs> I love that name. <laughs> it's some random name that I just, you know, thought up of. Anyways, let's uh, fight this guy before I get that item. Or I don't know, I, uh, I don't know, I'll get it whenever. Anyways, uh, another cool trainer, so obviously I'm probably going to find another ground-type Pokemon, and it's Rhyhorn! 
the simplistic ground and rock type Pokemon. Very weak Pokemon too. It's kind of a sad thing. Uh, like, all right, let's get the item first. It's a revive. Awesome place. Uh, awesome item to find in a gym. And uh, let's fight these guys first. Uh, we'll leave it this guy. Roar! I'm working myself to a rage. Oh, it, it, they should have extenuated that R of the rage. All right, so this black belt here obviously is gonna fighting type Pokemon. He has a Machop and a Machoke. And that's done. War! <laughs> I love all the random sounds that these guys make whenever they get beaten or whatever. Anyways, there's one guy last year, and there should be a tamer given by the sprite. Yep. Is that a lollipop he's got in his hand? I can't tell. Anyways, see, this guy has one Pokemon on a right horn. Uh, I don't know what that is. It looks like a, either a lollipop or an overgrown ear. Okay, so now that these guys are done with, <laughs> uh, let's uh, move around here. Uh, you can uh, fight this guy one of two ways. You can uh, go through these uh, movement pads here, or you can go from the bottom where that one guy is that had the right horn. Uh, it's a good idea to get rid of this guy here, because then you could just... Yeah, he kind of blocks the way, though, so... Uh, I, I find him through the movement pad path so that I can just walk around and all that. Anyways, this guy's a Machoke. A Machop, and a Machoke again. And I've noticed that the levels of these Pokemon are still really low, considering where I am. Um, I don't know why they do this, but um, yeah, I, I've said it for like the past three gyms, so I don't think I'm gonna say it again. In fact, I'm probably just gonna leave that out of the war room. But yeah, let's go heal up, and I'll come back. All right, now that I'm back, I'll show like a proper way to get through. Uh, you can either go through the movement pad path or just walk around. You have to have this black belt here defeated though in order to do that. Anyways, let's fight the leader. Wait, I recognize that sprite. Whoa, this is my hideout. I plan to resurrect Team Rocket here, but you have caught me again. So be it. This is time I will not be holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. So surprise upon surprises, the criminal organization leader is actually a gym leader. Who knew? Anyways, Giovanni has five Pokemon. Starts out with a Doug Trio, level 50, with Dig, Earthquake, Fisher, and Sand Attack. Although this is his weakest Pokemon, it is also his most dangerous Pokemon as well, because it knows Fisher, which is um, one of those one-hit KO moves. Um, and of course, whenever my Pokemon get hit by an attack that lowers its accuracy, they become instantly blind. So it's going to take a while before Sauerkraut gets an attack off, hopefully before it uses Fisher. And I'm counting on Ductrio's low health to get me the win, yeah! <laughs> uh, sorry for the lack of enthusiasm there, but... Uh, yeah, it's the weakest Pokemon. Anyways, Persian is second Pokemon. Uh, pure normal type, we've dealt with this guy before, level 53 now, with Double Team, Fury Swipe, Screech, and Slash. Really not much of an issue to deal with, just stick whatever powerful Pokemon you have against it and just watch it go down. Like okay, it's Fury Swipe's done with. Hit three times, alright, my turn! Alright, that's one, I'm uh, probably gonna have to get another double kick on this guy before it goes down. Alright, not doing too that. Oh, it's gonna try and make itself... Yeah, double team of race and invasion, but it matters not! Or I kill you. Ha! I hate it when the people use sand attack and double team. It really makes battles just so annoying. Anyways, Nido Queen. We've also dealt with this guy before. Level 53 now. With double kick, earthquake, tail whip, and thunder. Pretty odd thing to find here. I guess you want to get rid of it before it throws thunder out. Otherwise, um... Yeah, it it would the thunder wouldn't make this battle pretty difficult if you don't get it, get it out of the way immediately. And luckily, Nami one shots it, so we can move on to his next Pokemon, Needle King. Probably his most dangerous, like power-wise Pokemon. Level 55 with Double Kick, Earthquake, Leer, and Thunder. So basically, just like Needle Queen, only it has Leer instead of Tail Whip. So again, you want to get rid of it before it throws down Thunder. <laughs> and luckily, Nami comes through for me. Okay, so Giovanni's final Pokemon, and his weakest Pokemon in my opinion, right on, level 55 with Earthquake, Fury Attack, Horn Drill, and Rock Slide. This Pokemon is so ridiculously slow, and so...
so has such a ridiculously low special, it's gonna go down in one shot. Like I said! <laughs> and because I've been using a four times multiplier, Giovanni doesn't stand a chance. But yeah, right now I evolved for Rhyhorn. Just throwing that out there. We win! Ha! That was a truly intense fight! You have won! That's proof. Here is the Earth Badge! And we get another badge during the battle. Ha! Huh, how about that? The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey! It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can enter the Pokemon League. It is my gift for your Pokemon League challenge. And it gives us TM27. TM27 is Fisher, the one-shot KO move. Uh, yeah, it's just like Horn Drill or whatever. Um, it's um, yeah, extremely inaccurate. Only five uses, but if it actually connects, uh, hold on. If you talk to this guy again, he'll actually disappear like magic. What? I will dedicate my life to the study of Pokemon. Oh crap, it's Professor Giovanni! Anyways, farewell! And he disappears forever. And yeah, Giovanni just... Anyways, I'm the leader now! <laughs> I shall resurrect Team Market in that. Actually, I don't really care. So let's leave this gym. So yeah, that's all eight gyms now accounted for. All eight badges now in my belt. Blow me away! Giovanni was the gym leader here? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay, so, and just for reference sake, you can't actually find out Giovanni, Giovanni's the leader here to you find it because there's no description for him. How sad. Anyways, uh, yeah, I guess I can end the video here, a nice place to end it. Anyways, here are my eight badges now, and this is Gaia Christian 9 with Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. And in the next part, I'll go after the Pokemon League. Exciting stuff. So, yeah, I'll go here, and see you later.